Imagine for a moment, a journey 72 times the circumference of Earth to a destination that only three countries before India have attempted to reach. This was the daunting task taken on by the Chandrayaan-3 mission. The goal? To safely land a spacecraft on the southern pole of the Moon, a region untouched by any previous mission. Challenges were many and varied, like a minefield in the dark expanse of space. The mission required a level of precision akin to threading a needle from a mile away, in zero gravity, and with a two and a half second delay in communication. Each challenge, each hurdle, was a test of ingenuity, resilience, and the spirit of exploration that defines us as a species. The first challenge was the launch itself. It is no easy feat to break free from Earth's gravitational pull, a force that has kept us grounded for millions of years. The solution? A rocket. A giant, fire-breathing monster of human invention with the power to propel a spacecraft out of Earth's atmosphere and into the infinite expanse of space. Then came the lunar transfer trajectory, the path the spacecraft needed to traverse to reach the Moon. This was a delicate dance between the spacecraft and the gravitational forces of two celestial bodies. A dance choreographed by the finest minds in astrophysics and executed with the precision of a Swiss watch. The last hurdle was the landing, a maneuver so complex it has been dubbed the 15 minutes of terror. A descent from lunar orbit to the Moon's surface fraught with risks and with no room for error. The solution? Autonomous navigation systems capable of making split-second decisions and executing complex maneuvers with surgical precision. And so, against all odds, Chandrayaan-3 landed, marking India's name in the annals of space exploration history. But what does this mean for the future of space exploration? In essence, it opens up a new frontier. The southern pole of the Moon is believed to contain vast reserves of water ice, a resource that could be used to sustain future lunar missions and even establish a permanent human presence on the Moon. Moreover, it serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration, a testament to what we, as a species, can achieve when we dare to dream and strive to turn those dreams into reality. In this light, the Chandrayaan-3 mission is not just a technological triumph, it is a triumph of the human spirit, a reminder that no goal is too lofty, no challenge too daunting, and no frontier too far, if we dare to reach for the stars. This is the legacy of Chandrayaan-3, a legacy etched not just on the surface of the moon, but in the hearts and minds of every dreamer looking up at the night sky, wondering what lies beyond.